The upcoming 3.0 Evergreen release promises to bring a lot of big new features to Evergreen libraries, including a new web-based staff client, improvements to search, more ways to perform batch updates, and big improvements to serials. But sometimes the features that make the biggest difference to staff are those small quality of life improvements that come in any release. In this first installment of the Evergreen Communities On the Road to 3.0 video series, we're going to highlight some of those small feature enhancements that can make a big difference for staff. The first small enhancement we're going to look at is a new feature to retrieve patrons whose records were recently accessed in the client. Circ Desk staff are familiar with this situation. A patron checks out some items from the library, but then returns to the desk after a few minutes to perform another transaction. Ideally, you don't want to make the patron pull out their library card again so that you can provide them with service. The Retrieve Last Patron action has always been useful in this situation, but what if you've served another one or two patrons in the interim? The Retrieve Recent Patrons action, a new option available from the circulation menu, will go back further. When selected, the client will load a patron search results page showing you the most recent patrons that were accessed from the workstation. Many thanks to Bill Erickson for providing us with this new feature with funding from the MassLink Evergreen Development Initiative. Our next quality of life improvement is one that will make it easier to find patrons in your Evergreen system. When registering a new patron with a very common name, like John Smith, it can be difficult going through search results to determine if the patron already has a library card. We can filter our search results in many ways, but one field we have previously been unable to filter on is date of birth. In 3.0, we will now be able to limit our patron search results by date of birth. Many thanks to Blake Henderson at Mo Mobius for developing this new feature and for making it very flexible for the user. Staff can search for a specific date or could search just by a particular month or a year. The day, month, and year are all entered into separate search boxes, so you don't have to worry about using the right date format. This new feature will make it a whole lot easier to find the correct patron. Speaking of finding patrons, another new feature in Evergreen 3.0 will make it easier for staff to find the right patron when placing a hold. In the staff client, there is now a patron search box that allows you to find the patron's barcode by name. This new search will allow staff to focus on helping the patron rather than wasting energy opening new tabs to find a barcode that can be used for the hold. Many thanks to Galen Shalton of Equinox Open Library Initiative for creating this feature and to the Pennsylvania Integrated Library System for funding its development. Now we're going to head over to reports to view our last small quality of life enhancement for today's video, searchable report templates. Many libraries and consortia have so many report templates available that it is difficult to wade through them all to find the template that you need, but that just got a whole lot easier. We now have the ability to search templates by keyword in the name and description fields. We can search in a specific folder or we can search across all folders. Wildcards are added to our search terms. So if we do a search for StatCat, we will find report templates that use the words StatCat, StatCats, Statistical Category, or Statistical Categories. Many thanks to Bill Erickson for building this feature, which was sponsored by the MassLink Evergreen Development Initiative. <laughs>